With the rising costs of heating, we really need some ways to save money on it, or at least have some tricks up on our sleeves in case of a power outage. Here are three more DIY heaters that you must know how to make for the upcoming uncertain days. And number three is the easiest and fastest to make. Starting with number one, a rocket stove. Rocket stoves are very good at heating and even cooking. You can use almost anything that can catch fire, like leaves, twigs, or even newspapers to fuel them. Here's what you'll need. Three different size cans, large, medium, and small, a metal cutting saw, leaves or twigs for fire, matchsticks, sand, gravel, permanent marker, and a screwdriver. Now here's how to make it. 1. Put the small can on the bottom outside of the large can, which is your main can, and use a marker to trace the outline. Then, use a metal cutting saw to cut the hole. There were sharp edges where the piece has been cut out. With a screwdriver, bend the hole's edges to make it look smooth. Cut the bottom out of the small can and put it on the hole. Cut an arch on the front of another medium-sized can. Then, put it vertically inside the big can, with the arch in front of the small can you just put inside. Put gravel and sand in the big can to keep things from moving. Then, put sticks or paper through the hole you made and start a fire. You'll feel the heat rise and see smoke come out at the top. Number 2. A Patio Heater When making this heater, it's important to make sure that the cylinders are clean and dry. Also, you need to know how to weld to make this heater, so keep that in mind. Here's what you'll need. Two gas cylinders, a steel tube, a steel knob, hinges, nuts and bolts, electric cutting saw, drill machine, black paint, wood pieces, and a mash stick. Now, here's how to make it. 1. Take two propane gas cylinders. Take out of the valves and clean them well. 2. Let the cylinders dry out in the air for a day or two. 3. Use a cutting saw to cut both cylinders in half, but keep the top part of each one. 4. Start a fire with the wood sticks and burn the paint of the cylinders. Then, use a track welding to join the top parts of both cylinders. Next, you need to join the area where the valve is. Then, mark where the door will be cut on the top cylinder. Before you cut that part out, you need to drill a small holes on the left side of the hinge. Drill a hole for the doorknob on the other side. After putting the hinge and knob in place, cut a hole for the sear rod in the top of the first cylinder. The stick will be a chimney. Put the rod into the cylinder and then weld the whole thing together. Together. Then, drill some holes around the bottom of the top cylinder to let the air in. This is to make sure there is enough oxygen for the fire when it is lit. The final step is to paint the whole setup black. This is because black keeps heat for a longer time than the other colors. Open the door, put some wood blocks and start a fire. That's it, your DIY patio heater is now ready to use. Before we get number 3, a like to this video is much appreciated. 3. A soda can heater. This easy to carry can burner could be a lifesaver in your survival kit, especially if you lose power. You'll need some empty soda cans, rubbing alcohol, permanent marker, some push pines, and a hammer. Here's how to make it. 1. Turn an empty can on its side, then drive a nail through the middle of the can. 2. Use push pines to make 4 holes around the hole where the nail was. You can drive the pins into the can with a hammer. Use the same push pins to make 16 holes around the ridge at the bottom. 4. Put the can in the side of a flat surface and use a permanent marker to draw a straight line around it. 5. Use a razor knife to make a cut along the line. There are now two parts. The one with the holes you drilled earlier would go on top and the other one would be your bottom section. Roll up the insulation pipe wrap and put it on the bottom of the can. Put the part of the can that has holes on the top of the base that has insulation in it. Put the rubbing alcohol into the can to fill it. On the top heater, light the fuel. When all the holes are on fire, cover the hole in the middle of the can with a coin. And your soda can heater is ready to heat up your place. These three DIY heaters will not warm the entire house, but they are a very good trick to keep in your back pocket. Watch the video on the screen right now for 3 DIY heaters that are faster to make and could help you severely in case of a power outage. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.